What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I got something pretty serious today, which is one of Kathy Wood's biggest bets for the ARK ETFs. More specifically, the ARK-K and the ARK-W ETF, the innovation and also the next gen internet ETF. This is a big deal because she's essentially buying a constant dip on one of the biggest companies out there, which is Teladoc Health. The ticker is in the top left-hand corner, TDOC, and so far this stock has been doing some really wild things. It did surge from 168 back in quarter four of 2020 all the way to $300. At this time, the RK and the ARKW ETFs did exceptionally well. But right now, guess what? The RK and the ARKW ETF, they essentially have dropped around 20 to 30 percent, whereas the NASDAQ has only dropped 10 percent, S&P 500 only 5 to 7 percent. And essentially, the RKs have lost a third of its value if you consider the drop from the very top to the current price. And one of the biggest reasons why is because this massive sell-off in TDOC Teladoc Health. So when the world is going on and why is ARK Invest betting so heavily on Teladoc Health? And do you guys think that this is a good bet? And do you think ARK Invest is using the money pretty recklessly because RK, ARKW right now, they're dropping like absolute rocks. It's not looking so good for the companies. And once again, because Teladoc Health has such an enormous stake in both of those ETFs, if Teladoc Health drops really, really hard, then you should be seeing a pretty massive drop as well. Like if you check out like back in February 25th, 2021, at one single day, it dropped almost 14%. It's a pretty painful thing to see. If you see ARK Invest right now, they're essentially constantly buying the dip. Initially, when the stock started dropping, they sold on some shares. They sold from 10 million back to the low 10 million. So it wasn't really that much of a move, but the more Teladoc dropped, the more they bought from 10 million all the way to 11.7 million. They added 1.7 million shares during this massive knife drop. If you check this out, they're buying Teladoc Health at a huge bulk, essentially buying the stock every single trading day for the ARK Ws and the ARK Ks. Now, this is a little bit disturbing for some individuals since Teladoc Health is essentially a pandemic stock. It grew really well during the pandemic because everyone didn't want to go outside, so everyone just essentially did a ton of their hospital and doctor stuff online. Let's say you have a fever, or let's say you have like a sore throat, you don't really want to go to the doctor's office because there's like a whole pandemic going on. So guess what? You just hit up Teladoc Health. It's super simple. You fill in your medical history, just like what you do at the hospital, at the clinic, and then you tell them what's wrong with you. They have different care physicians as well, mental health specialists, expert advice. So this is pretty nice. For example, there's dermatology, upload photos of like skin condition online, and there will be a dermatologist that will send cuspin treatment plans within two days or less. It's pretty crazy and it's honestly pretty dope. I feel like this online medical health experience is growing at a really rapid pace. I mean, they got like primary care physicians, they got like psychologists, psychiatrists, etc. You know, it's really, really big. Essentially, whatever you want to do at the clinic, you can simply just do it on Teladoc and it's becoming really, really popular. A lot of people just simply feel like this just saves them a lot more time. Why would you ever go to the clinic when you just simply do it online? I mean, it's really nice and the doctors, they like it as well. They just do it online in front of their computer, their Zoom or whatever it is. And it's just a really, really easy and, and simple experience for both parties, the patient and also the doctor. And a lot of parents are using this, especially parents that have a lot of kids. Example, I've read several articles about Teladoc Health and why people seem to like it. And one thing that it boils down to is simplicity and it saves you a trip from the clinic. It's just such a major hassle. I guess we're all getting pretty lazy now. Everyone is door dashing. Everyone has ordered things online and even ordering pets food and also different items along with like getting your health checked online. It's become like a really, really big thing. I think this pandemic really did shape us, but also keep in mind that there is a pandemic that's slowly dying down and more people are going outside. Stores are opening. This is why Teladoc Health is getting hit so hard, dropping from $300 to $180. This is such a massive dip, a 40% decrease on Teladoc Health. And the thing is, ARK Invest is constantly buying it. 
Now, some people are saying that this is a very reckless way to spend a lot of the fund's money, but it's really up for you to decide. I feel like in the long term, Teladoc Health should eventually hit the bottom. But if I look at the technical analysis, it almost feels like Teladoc Health is just on an absolute free fall. Now, the good news is Teladoc Health is somewhat stabilizing around this area. The candlesticks are getting smaller instead of getting bigger. I think the people who really wanted to sell Teladoc Health already did, and the people who want to hold on to the shares aren't selling at all. It's dropped a lot. It's a good company, and I feel like this online healthcare system should be going at a rapid pace upwards instead of downwards. Teladoc Health projects 2020 revenues at $1.1 billion. This is insane, 100% increase. Back in 2019, their revenue was only around $550 million. Now it's $1.1 billion for 2020. With a 100% increase in revenue, I feel like Teladoc Health with this massive decrease in the share price is a little bit unacceptable. I feel like they should have just stopped dropping at around $230 or $240 but it dropped below $200, which is a massive resistance point. And right now, people are saying if Teladoc Health could drop even lower, I feel like there is a floor value of roughly $170. If it drops below $170 and stays there, then we have a problem in our hands. If on Monday, if Teladoc Health doesn't go up, something is definitely up with the company, and it's gonna be very, very scary. But also keep in mind that the reason why it's sold off so heavily was because the economy was just simply not really doing so hot, let's be honest here. And there's just massive overheating in the market. The meme stocks went up way too much. So there's a massive cool off in stocks. I mean, the NASDAQ had a 10% correction. And you also talk about how Teladoc Health is having a slower growth than expected. That's not a really big problem, in my opinion. As long as you have some sort of growth, it should be okay. Teladoc Health ended 2020 with 51.8 million paid members. Whereas the forecast from the analysts was 52 to 54 million. That was kind of a major bummer. I don't really think that should be a big excuse for see a sell off this big. I think it's because stores are reopening, the pandemic is going down, the vaccines are rolling out. Everyone is simply, I guess, probably using online stuff less and going outside more. I mean, people are probably door dashing less and maybe dining in more often. People are probably, instead of using Teladoc Health, actually driving to the clinic or a hospital to get checked out. I mean, this is what's going on here. But here's the thing, the global digital health market is expected to be growing at a huge pace. I mean, we're looking at a massive annual growth rate of 18.8%. This is something I've never seen before. 18.8% is something that's super rare. Usually you see roughly 7, 8%. If you hit 10% in your growth rate, that's incredible. So let alone 18.8%. This is pretty crazy. Should be reaching like half a trillion dollars by the end of 2027. And so far, I mean, you got this massive rollout of the vaccine. A lot of people are getting administered. This is good news. And a lot of these pandemic stocks are going down. Like Amazon is going down. JMIA is going down. You got Apple, NASDAQ. A lot of the stocks that specialize in online stuff has had a massive drop. And the companies in the vacation sector and the banking sector, they're surging upwards. So Teladoc Health getting hit pretty hard right now. But I feel like because the global digital health market is growing at an 18% annual growth rate, Teladoc Health is something that you should not overlook. Remember, if the stock has dropped this much, it could be a very, very good time to buy the dip. I think that's exactly what Kathy Wood is thinking. But I feel like they probably bought the dip a little bit too early because share prices did drop below 200 and it's pretty painful. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Remember, Warren Buffett has said, when it gets super fearful and super scary, it's time to get greedy. And Teladoc Health, ask yourself, is this a good company? Is this a legit company? Personally, I feel like this company is pretty legit. This company is pretty good and they don't really mess around. They have increasing revenues, increasing users. But because right now I've got like the stores and stuff like that, the economy fully opening up with the vaccine rolling out and cases dropping rapidly, a lot of these pandemic stocks like Zoom, Teladoc Health are going down. But I feel like in the far future, maybe like a year or two, people will start really appreciating this digital world even more because of the pandemic. And shares of this will definitely surge back up if that happens. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. How do you guys feel about Kathy Wood's massive bet on TDoc? Do you think this is good and do you think this is bad? How do you guys feel about her ETFs recently? Thanks for watching.